Welcome to my home and welcome to my heart. It's been a while since I've come on here and gone live because I've been teaching a lot of classes. Oops, that's not functional. I've been teaching a lot of Qigong classes online and I really, really love to teach the um, Qi Activation Level 1 class. Come on over to my website, roxywright.com and just click on one of the links for one of the classes that doesn't commit you to the class, but it will give you a, a really good overview of what you're gonna learn in that class. Because here we are, gonna, I'm gonna present the five healing elements because I need to do my practice. I have found um, this last week, I've just been really busy and there's lots of snowstorms and stuff and I haven't actually done this. <laughs> I've been slacking off and I'll tell you, with the snow and the different things going on in my life, my body really, really hurts. And I know, I know, no, 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 that as soon as I come in and do my five healing elements, I take, I, the pain just starts to just move away. So I would like to invite you, if you wanna understand why that happens, come on over to take the class. It's so critical. You can practice here, but this is actually only half of the practice. This is only, this is our yang part of our practice, the movement. But the yin part of our practice is the small universe meditation, which is our internal refinement. And it develops our yi, our intention. This develops our chi, which is our energy with life force, a blueprint, and pure intelligence. So if you wanna learn more and really expand and really figure out how this can really make a difference in your whole life, all day long, every day, come on over, take the class. But right now we will begin to practice. So as we start our practice, we're going to start with some tapping and I'll just step a little closer to the, the whatever this thing is, my phone. And we're going to tap on the inside of our eyebrows. Seven, eight, nine. And we're going to tap under our eyes. These are different meridians that we're tapping on. I explain all this in the class. I'd like to just stay with the practice at the moment without too much head work and explaining things. Drop your head on your hand, yeah, head into the hand. Drop the back of your head and just tap gently on the back of your head. Eight, nine, and we're gonna tap down our chest. What we're doing in the tapping, and lift up your left arm, we're gonna tap into the armpit. What we're doing in the tapping is we're releasing any extra energy that's ready to go back into the universe. We're gonna hold the intention for tapping number nine. And I'm talking a lot, so I'm not actually counting at the same time. We're going to tap down our body. We always tap on the left side first. That activates our chi. Then we move over to the right side, and that activates our circulatory system. And there's many things that are circulating. Our lymph system, our blood, all kinds of stuff is circulating. We're going to interlace our fingertips, and we're going to massage our belly. All of those organs in there. And we're going to clap our hands together nine times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna reach into the crook of our left elbow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the right elbow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna tap on our hips. This one really, really, really feels good. I'm gonna do three sets of nine here just because I love this. Last set. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna reach back and we're gonna tap the tailbone. Tapping, tapping, tapping. This tapping process and then the bouncing as well releases extra energy that is no longer ours. All of these energies that come in and, and, and uh, create chi blockages in our body, they come for a reason and they do specific things. They either protect us in some way that our body thinks or they help us in some way, and we can discuss that kind of thing in class or on some private consultations if you like as well. And what we're doing with the tapping and the bouncing, so now we're bouncing and we're bouncing out of our knees. With the tapping and the bouncing, we are letting go of any extra energy that no longer serves us. It's energy that no longer belongs to us. It has come in for lots of different reasons, and you'll see my body adjusting and shifting we're, we're coming into alignment here. Close your eyes and breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And as you close your eyes and bounce, become an observer. Observe your body. 
Observe the sensations in your body. There might be pain somewhere. There might be some tension somewhere. Observe where your attention goes to. Observe your mind. Observe what kinds of thoughts come in. Don't make, don't make any judgments about them. Observe your body. Feel the alignment wanting to happen. We're going to envision little strings and balloons on the back of our hands. And they're slowly floating our hands up and over our heads. And the yawn isn't because it's late at night. The yawn is because I'm releasing extra energy. That yawning process is really important. Allow it to happen and don't judge yourself for it. Allow your hands to bounce. They're slowly floating back down. Continuing to bounce, we're going to swivel side to side. Bring in here a thought or a feeling or a memory of joy, pure, unadulterated joy. Just the joy of being alive for no reason at all and for every reason possible. Shake out that joy and, and if you don't have a memory of joy, create one. And as we let that bounce, relax, we're going to come into a quiet stillness off of the next long, slow exhale. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Feel this stillness, this very still place. You will notice that your fingertips are tingling. You'll notice that you might feel a little bit of pressure in your palms. And your elbows might have floated away from your body. This is your chi. You have activated your chi and chi is more than energy. She is energy with a life force to it. It creates life, it sustains life. She is energy with a blueprint. It knows exactly how your body can be in perfect balance and harmony with everything around it. She is also energy with pure intelligence. And here in this position, as we have activated our chi, this stance here is called beginning of the universe. Envision yourself at the beginning of where everything began. You might see yourself among the stars. You might see yourself as one of the stars. This is a place of emptiness. The beginning of the universe. In this space, feel into all unconditional love. A beautiful love that is there for you and for me. We don't have to earn it. We don't have to deserve it. It is ours. It is available to us and we just simply claim it. Claim the love of the universe. And in this beginning of the universe, there is also all possibility. And as we sit in this space and feel the emptiness, all transformation happens in this empty space because it does hold all possibility. We're going to bring our hands to the lower Dantian, which is our navel area. Bring your hands here. Your right hand is next to your navel. Your neck, left hand is next to the right hand. If you're a woman, your right hand is next to the navel. If you're, left, if you're a man, your left hand is next to the navel. Here we give the password. I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together as one. This password raises our vibration and connects our vibration with the vibration of the universe. So 
It's like every password that unlocks us into the power of the space that we're going into. We are now accessing the power of the universe. And now we use our intention to set an intention for our practice. And it is the intention that powers the chi. And so here in this space, we call upon the energy of our master and you decide who your master is. It can be your own inner knowing, your own inner light. It can be a being that you draw energy from and guidance from. It could have purified energy have mighty power. You decide who your master is. It can be your own inner light. We call upon our master. And we see them coming across the universe to us with beautiful unconditional love. And we set an intention and we ask for our intent. It might be for a healing in your body. It might be for a balancing in a relationship. It might be a healing for someone else. Dearest Master, with deepest gratitude, I set the intention for my practice at this time, and I'm asking for some pain to be released from my body. And we bring our right hand to our throat area. This is the first movement of the five healing elements movements. This is the moving of yin and yang. Our right hand goes up and out and down, and our left hand comes in and up. Our elbows are open and up, and then we lead the movement with our elbows. Our knees are bent ever so slightly. In this moving of yin and yang, we're connecting with our liver system. The liver connects with the gallbladder and the eyes and the tendons and the ligaments. We use our visualization to see the movement of yin and yang inside our body. And as we breathe in, we breathe in a beautiful feeling of happiness. In this moment, on this breath, I am happy. See the green light of happiness connect with our body, our mind, our spirit, and our soul, and they're all here together, united. And as we breathe in the feeling of happiness on our exhale, we breathe out any anger that we might have. We're now breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. color is green. Feel the beautiful creative color of green and the happiness that it brings. On each in breath we bring in happiness. On each exhale, we release with love and gratitude any anger that might have helped us to set a boundary, that might have protected us in some way. When we hold it in our body, it contracts our body. When we breathe it out with happiness, we expand our body. In this moment, I am happy. Your mind might think, oh, I can't be happy because this and this and this happened in the past. That is gone. Your mind might also think, I can't be happy because this is going to happen. That is in the future. Right now, in this moment, and on this breath, I can be happy right now. Breathing out any anger, any 
the extra energy with love and gratitude for that anger helped us in so many ways. And so we could be grateful for it. Breathing in happiness. Bringing our hands to the lower Dantian, we're going to feel into a beautiful energy ball of yin and yang. And our happiness energy expands into the feeling of joy. Joy is happiness for no apparent reason and every reason. I'm gonna feel that ball of yin and yang. Feel your palms full. Feel your fingertips tingling. This is your chi. Your energy with life force, a blueprint and pure intelligence. And you allow that chi to expand in this yin and yang ball. Letting your elbows lead the movement. As we breathe in, now compress that yin and yang ball as you breathe out. We're gonna add a movement to it now. As we breathe in, we're gonna allow our knees to bend. We're breathing in joy. And as we breath stretch up, we're breathing out any hatred that we might have. Hatred is a strong word. Hatred is intensified anger. Hatred is anger that has not been listened to. And so it needs to get stronger and bigger. Our hatred protects us in some way. As we feel into our hatred and love it, it can reduce and, re and dissipate. We breathe in joy. Breathe out with love and gratitude, that intensification of our anger into hatred and we release it. Breathing in joy. We're breathing into our heart system, the fire of the heart. It's a beautiful red energy. And it connects with our heart system, which also connects with our small intestines. As we breathe in joy into our small intestines, we, bleed, we allow them to move all the food and all the nutrients through easily and freely. We breathe joy into our tongue and it softens gently in our mouth and releases any hatred. We breathe joy into our bloodstream. Breathing in joy. In this moment, I only feel joy. On this in-breath, I am filled with joy. beautiful gentle smile on our face as we breathe in the red light of the heart and joy pure joy This moment I have joy and I feel joy and I am joy. So we bring our hands back to the lower Dantian. We feel this beautiful energy ball of yin and yang. Feel our hands pulsing ever so gently, ever so slightly. Our fingertips are tingling. This is our chi. Bring our hands down to our side with our palms open and up. And our joy expands into peace. As we raise our hands above our head and our chin drops down, we have a gentle smile on our face and we're breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. As our hands slowly reach up into the heavens, we feel this chi ball, this energy ball, this yin and yang ball, balanced, beautiful, beautifully balanced and peaceful. We bend our knees and breathe in peace. We 
We stretch up with our hands into the heavens. We are connecting heaven and earth. As we breathe in, we breathe in peace. As we breathe out, we release any anxiety that we might have. And we're connecting here with our stomach system. We often feel our anxiety in our stomach. As we breathe in peace in this inhale, we release any anxiety with love and gratitude. Anxiety protects us, keeps us from moving forward, keeps us from stepping in from stepping into places where we might be hurt in some manner. As we release that anxiety, our peaceful energy can see situations and evaluate them and decide whether we need more anxiety or not. Breathing in peace. Breathing peace into our stomach system, our spleen, our pancreas, all of our muscles and our lips. We hold our anxiety, our mouth tightens. We bring in cortisols into our body. When we breathe in peace, everything softens and we receive the endorphins, the healing endorphins throughout our cells. Breathing in peace. Beautiful yellow light of peace in our stomach system is healing. And as we're breathing in, Bending our knees, we're reaching down into the earth nine feet with our feet. We feel the energy of the earth and as we stretch up, we're stretching up into the heavens, up into infinity, we feel this elastic pump. Breathing in peace. Breathing out anything that isn't peace with love and gratitude for the messages and protection it brought us. Breathing in peace. In this moment, I am peaceful. Old memories of the past are, are being released with every exhale. New structures of peace are coming in with each inhale. If your hands are tired, allow them to slowly float back down and envision them being up. Feel your fingertips tingling. This is your chi. Allowing your hands to float gently back down and very slowly. Breathing in peace, the beautiful yellow color of peace into our stomach system. Slowly allow your hands to float down. Feel the chi, feel the tingling in your fingertips. The slower we go and the slower we breathe, the more into the emptiness that we receive. It is in the emptiness that the healing takes place. Bringing your fingertips together so that they're just tight enough to hold a piece of paper. Your thumbs drop down forming a heart shape at your lower dentian, at your navel. Your right foot walks out a little further. We shift our body weight to the left as we breathe in. And here we breathe in the beautiful light of contentment. And we breathe out any sadness, depression, and grief. We slowly shift to the left side and breathe in. I am content. Slowly shift to the right side and breathe out. I release any sadness, depression, and grief. As I fill my lungs with the beautiful white light of contentment, I am content. I have need of nothing. In this beautiful rocking motion, I am rocked in the arms of the universe. And I am content expanded from peace into contentment. I breathe in with my beautiful lungs. I breathe in the white color, the white light of contentment into my lung system. I breathe contentment into my large intestines. 
breathe contentment in and through my nose. All of the breathing systems. I breathe contentment into my sinuses. I breathe contentment in and through my whole skin. Chin is dropping down. We have a gentle smile on our face. And as we shift to the right, we're blow breathing out any sadness, depression, grief, the energies that halt us and ask us to hold still. They can also paralyze us. But they ask us to reevaluate. As we breathe in contentment. And breathe out with gratitude those feelings of depression and sadness and grief. In this moment, I am content. Receive contentment through my whole skin, into every cell of my body, into every molecule of my body, between every atom. My body is filled with light. All of my channels are open, open, open. As I breathe out anything that is not contentment, it becomes like a mist or smoke. And it blows out into the edges of the universe and I am free and I am content. As we walk our right foot back, we bring our hands into a prayer position and they slowly come up to our chest, to our heart position. In the contentment, we are connecting with our own body's energy and here we are connecting with our heart. And as we bow forward ever so gently, we breathe in gratitude. As we stretch up and open our shoulders, we release any fears we might have. Bending forward on the inhale in breathing in gratitude. Exhaling any fear. We're connecting here with our kidney system, our vitality center, our life force. We've expanded into the energy of gratitude, the highest vibration. As we reach forward and bend into gratitude, and we breathe out, we can speak of our gratitude and say, I am grateful for colors. I am grateful for clothing. Think of anything that you're grateful for. We have our own chi field and everything around us has its chi field as well. And they interconnect and they intersect. We're in kidney energy, bladder. We're breathing in gratitude into our bones. Breathing in gratitude into our bone marrow, our life force, our vitality. We're breathing in gratitude into our reproductive system, the creation of life, the sustaining of life. And we breathe in gratitude into our anus, which either releases things and lets them go or holds them when we have too much fear. As we bow forward and breathe in gratitude, we stretch up and receive healing. We release any fears that we may have 
In this moment, we are simply grateful. We are not in the future, we are not in the past. We are in the moment on the breath. And on the breath, we breathe in gratitude. And in this gratitude space, we can send love to any pain that we have. We can send love to any sadness or grief or depression or fear or anxiety or anger or hatred or any other emotions that contract us, any bitterness, resentment. We send love and gratitude to those spaces. We send love and healing and understanding to any physical symptoms our bodies might be carrying right now. We say, thank you for teaching me. Thank you for slowing me down. Thank you for asking me to see inside of me. Thank you for giving me the information to balance myself with the universe so I can receive information from the universe about my life. I am so grateful. I am grateful for love and light. The blue light of gratitude shrouds my body, releases pain and sadness and grief fear and there is only love and gratitude and we are at peace we will harvest our chi we're bringing our hands back to our lower dantian see this beautiful light in your lower dantian it's a soft light, it's a white light. And as it expands in our lower dantian, it has a hum to it. We feel its song, this is our chi. We're filling the reservoir at our lower dantian. This beautiful reservoir of chi, of activated chi that rides on the attention that we set at the beginning of our practice. Moves into our whole body opens all the energy channels, everything is flowing smoothly and beautifully and perfectly. All of my channels are open, open, open. And I am free. Bringing our hands together, we will harvest our chi, rubbing our hands together. Bringing our hands to our face, Rubbing our fingers on either side of our nose and up into our hairline, we're drawing a heart shape on our own face and we're saying to ourselves out loud, I love you and use your own name. So I would say, I love you, Roxy. You say, I love you, whoever you are. Our face holds meridian points for all of the organs in our body. And so as we use our palms, which have love points that send us directly to the heart. We're sending loving energy to every part of our body, all the organs. We're tapping on the top of our head with a cupped hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna put our hand on our forehead and tap the back of our head. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to tap on our eyebrows again. Tap underneath the eyes, our stomach meridian. We're gonna rub our ears, massage our ears. Just turn your ear, unfold it. Give a gentle pull. We're gonna tap down our chest. Lift up our left hand and tap into our armpit for activating collecting our chi in our heart center and our lung center. And on the, left, the right side, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna reach out our light, left hand, palm up, and tap down the whole arm. We're gonna turn our palm down and tap down the whole arm again. Palm up, tap 
down the arm, palm down, tap down the arm. Right side, palm up, tap down the arm, palm down. Palm up, palm down, palm up, and palm down. We're gonna reach back, and on your C7 vertebrae, that bump at the back of your, the base of your neck, just lift up that skin and just very gently rotate it nine times to the right. This allows the energy coming up through our neck and up into our head, those channels to open, tapping down our chest. We're gonna reach back and we're gonna tap into our kidney system. Just very high above our bones, above the rib, uh, the hip bones, the ischial, ischiac, iliac crests in the back and down into our sacrum. As we tap in there, we can feel the release in our hips and that psoas muscle. And down into our hips, the divot of our hips. This releases our the psoas muscle again and we're coming into the front and releasing that psoas one more time. And reaching down to the tops of our knees, just above our kneecaps, we're gonna tap nine times. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the back of the knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Left knee. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the right knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna come up on our toes and drop to our heels. If you are pregnant or if you're practicing with anyone who's pregnant, do not do the heel drops. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and nine. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. Wherever, whenever you receive this video, if you receive it on YouTube or Facebook, I love you. I'm glad that you're with me. If you'd like to expand your practice and understand why we did what we did in this practice and how it can really benefit your body, come over to my website, roxyright.com. And you'll see on the calendar that I have scheduled level one chi activation classes. It's a seven hour class that is done on Zoom. And I either cut them into half days or you can do a full day. And it really helps you understand what the meat of this practice is and why we do what we do and how you can expand into the wholeness of healing, healing body, mind, and spirit. Stepping into that soul that is already pure. I love you, namaste. Come and visit me at roxyright.com.